Can you answer a question? Don't demons want people to go to hell? I believe so. So, if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, if you are trying to change, if you are trying to impact people based upon the Bible, don't you believe you are going to receive resistance? Don't you? Like, if you go to your neighbor's house, if you throw a brick in that person's house window, their car window, let's say you are really trying to do damage to that person's house. Now, what do you believe your neighbor is going to do? I think your neighbor is going to try to get you to stop. Right? So they may call the police. They may come out and yell at you. Like, they may try to do something to get you to stop attacking them or what they have, right? I think so. So, if you are out there trying to change, if you are out there like you are working on your attitude, you are improving, you are fasting, you are reading the Bible, you are trying to do what is right. Don't you believe demons are going to interfere with your progress? So if you are living for Jesus Christ as in trying to obey his rules if problems continue to come your way isn't that normal isn't that something to be expected isn't it if i am a demon which i am not i want you to go to hell right if I was a demon. So why in the world would I allow you to go free on this earth, have a good life, and do nothing about it? I believe I am going to try to persuade you in some type of way to go to hell right so if resistance comes your way if constant problems come your way if so many enemies appear in your life don't think it is strange don't see it as a strange thing If you are out there praying for people, if you are out there making a change through God, I should say that, then what do you believe is going to happen? Just happy days all day long? Kevin, I am living for God now, and I am not supposed to have problems. Where in the Bible does it say that at? That while you are on the earth, your problems are no more.
I forget where it is, maybe in first or second Timothy, I don't know. Something like, for those who live godly shall, not maybe, suffer persecution. So if I am trying to live right, yes, I make mistakes. Bad things are going to happen no matter what. I believe that scripture is saying that. Am I telling you not to pray about it? No. Am I telling you to just accept it? Not really. But you can pray about it. Can't you fast? Can't you pray? Perhaps I should say. But we are in a spiritual war. So in war, what is a war? Do one side only attacks in, in average war? I think both sides attack. So if you are attacking in whatever way, <clears throat> expect the other side to attack as well, right? I go through problems. And sometimes I get shocked by how often they come. But what can you expect? Or should I say, what should you expect? I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.